Hello everyone and welcome back to the Syntax Byte. My name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how to make text behave in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to properly wrap text uh, and have it, the text adjust the wrapping rather than the size as you resize the text box and also how to make sure that all these different paragraph options over here actually affect the text. So. I just ran into this problem um, and I'm a fairly casual Photoshop user. I was trying to make a bit of like a card up uh, that someone had requested that I make and I had pasted in a, a couple of paragraphs of text and it was not behaving at all. It was very frustrating. So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and take care of that. So the first thing to know is that when we click like this and paste our text in Photoshop, uh, it's going to be in something called point format. Um, and in point format, when we drag it, it's going to change the size of the text, like the physical scale of the text. And when we try and use these options on it, it's probably not really going to do too much. Um, it's just not going to behave like you want it to behave if you're used to a program like Microsoft Word. Uh, so this is very frustrating. The correct thing to do here is to right click on the layer and go convert to paragraph text. This will tell Photoshop that this is a paragraph and to treat it as such. Now, the other important point is that if you wanna resize this text box, make sure that you're doing it with the text tool selected and not the move tool, because if you select the move tool, it is once again, again gonna scale the text, which isn't what you want and is frankly extremely frustrating. So at this point, I can go ahead and zoom out. We have a massive text box. I have no idea why anyone thought this was user-friendly, but we can go ahead and drag it down, and then we can go ahead and expand it. And we should see that as we do this, the text starts to behave. So you can see it's actually adjusting you know, the, the, um, the paragraphs there. We can go ahead and pull this up. I'm just going to put this here, basically adjust it to the page boundary. I guess we don't have anything else going on. And uh, we can go ahead and do that. So now at this point, you know, we might want to add a bit of a top indent of like 10, 10 points or something. Um, apparently that takes effect for every paragraph but the top one. So you can see I'm still learning uh, this. But this is how you can make text behave in Photoshop. You can use, you know, all kinds of now regular things. Uh, we probably want to adjust the line spacing a little bit. Uh, so that's like here. And uh, don't put it on two point. It looks really bad. Okay, there we go. 10 points. That looks pretty normal. So uh, at this point, you can basically go ahead and do all of your text formatting like you would in any other text formatting program. And just remember, if you want to change the size of the box, just adjust it in the text tool, and then it will adjust uh, the text itself rather than if you do it in the move tool and now it adjusts the scale right so uh, just just watch out for that and once you've adjusted the scale in the move tool going back to the text tool won't fix it so just be aware of all of that so I hope the video was helpful nothing crazy here wrapping text around images or anything just trying to get some simple paragraph text to behave um, and that's how you do it so I hope the video was helpful, guys. Place a like on the on the video if it was helpful. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I don't really do many Photoshop tutorials. Mostly we're all about programming here on the channel, but this was something that I found extremely frustrating and couldn't find a good tutorial to show me how to do it. I did eventually find like a, a written tutorial, but even Adobe's own website was absolutely useless. Um, so hopefully the video was helpful uh, if you ran into the same problem. Definitely subscribe if you're interested in programming, Excel, VBA, that, those sorts of things and I will catch you in the next video.